The Brutality of the Aztecs For a long time, there has been a debate surrounding the extent and nature of human sacrifice practiced by the Aztecs and Mayans. Were the historical records of Spanish conquerors exaggerating to portray the indigenous people as primitive? In recent times, archaeologists have made significant discoveries, providing mounting physical evidence that lends credibility to the substance of the Spanish accounts, if not the precise numbers. By employing advanced forensic tools, archaeologists are now demonstrating that pre-Hispanic sacrifices often involved children and utilized a wide range of intentionally brutal methods of killing. For decades, researchers held diverse opinions on the matter. Some believed that the Spanish accounts from the 16th and 17th centuries were biased, aiming to denigrate Indian cultures. Others contended that sacrifices were primarily limited to captured warriors. Meanwhile, some acknowledged that the Aztecs had a violent aspect but perceived the Maya as less prone to such practices. We now have concrete physical evidence that supports the written and pictorial records, stated archaeologist Leonardo Lopez Lujan. Certain pro-Indian factions have always contested these accounts, alleging that the texts were deceitful. According to David Carrasco, an expert on Mesoamerican religion from Harvard Divinity School, it's probable that the Spaniards exaggerated the number of victims to legitimize their war against idolatry. However, there is little doubt regarding the nature of the killings. Pictorial texts known as codices, created by indigenous people, and Spanish records from that era describe various forms of brutal human sacrifice. The victims underwent horrifying acts, such as having their hearts cut out, being decapitated, shot with arrows, clawed, sliced, stoned, crushed, skinned, buried alive, or thrown from temple tops. Children were frequently among the victims, partly because they were perceived as pure and untainted. We are now validating what many people doubted, explained Carmen Payoan, a forensic anthropologist who, over a decade ago, discovered some of the earliest direct evidence of cannibalism within a pre-Aztec culture, skeletal remains bearing butcher-like cut marks. People had been skeptical about trusting the codices because they were authored by the Spaniards, who described gruesome events. In December, during an excavation in an Aztec-era community in Ecatepec, situated north of Mexico City, archaeologist Nadia Velez Saldana made findings supporting human sacrifice associated with the God of Death. The sacrifice involved burning or partially burning victims, she stated. We discovered a burial pit containing skeletal remains of four children, partially burned, and the remains of four other children, completely carbonized. While the remains do not offer conclusive evidence about whether the victims were burned alive, depictions in the Magliabeci Codex, a pictorial account from 1600 to 1650, portray individuals seemingly alive, being restrained while being burned. The excavation also provided additional evidence that aligns with descriptions of sacrifices in the Codex, including human body parts found in cooking dishes, and people depicted feasting while the god of death observes. We have uncovered cooking dishes that closely resemble those, remarked archaeologist Luis Manuel Gamboa. Additionally, next to some full skeletons, we found fragmented human bones. However, researchers are uncertain if those remains were subjected to cannibalism. In 2002, government archaeologist Juan Alberto Roman Baraleza revealed the results of forensic testing on the bones of 42 children, primarily boys around the age of six, who were sacrificed during a drought at Mexico City's Templo Mayor, the main religious site of the Aztecs. All of these children shared a common characteristic, severe cavities, abscesses, or bone infections, which would have caused them immense pain. Roman Baraleza stated that it was considered auspicious if the sacrificial victims cried intensely at the time of the sacrifice, which was likely carried out by slitting their throats. Similarly, Harvard University anthropologist David Stewart wrote in a 2003 article that the Maya, whose culture thrived further east about 400 years before the Aztecs established Mexico City in 1325, also had a penchant for sacrifice. He mentioned that earlier researchers attempted to differentiate between the peaceful Maya and the brutal cultures of central Mexico during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These researchers even tried to argue that human sacrifice was rare among the Maya. However, carvings and mural paintings now demonstrate more and greater similarities between the Aztecs and Mayas, including a Maya ceremony featuring a costumed priest extracting the entrails from a bound and seemingly living sacrificial victim. Some of the historical texts from the Spanish era still lack physical evidence to support their claims. 
they depict Aztec priests performing sacrifices of children and adults by sealing them in caves or drowning them. Nevertheless, archaeologist Lopez Lujan, who also works at the Templo Mayor site, asserts that these texts now appear credible. To substantiate his claim, Lopez Lujan has conducted advanced chemical tests on the stucco floors of Aztec temples, revealing traces of iron, albumin, and genetic material consistent with human blood. He believes that the Spaniards, along with Indian scribes working under their supervision, likely exaggerated the number of victims sacrificed, suggesting, for instance, that 80,400 individuals were sacrificed during a temple inauguration in 1487. Lopez Lujan finds this highly unlikely, stating that the actual numbers, even with a few extra zeros, fall far short of such an astronomical figure. The previous notion that sacrifice and cannibalism among the Aztecs were driven by a protein shortage in their diet has been widely rejected by researchers, although a few still consider population control as a potential factor. In pre-Hispanic cultures, there was a belief that failing to perform sacrifices could lead to the end of the world. Surprisingly, sacrificial victims were often treated with reverence and considered as gods before their lives were taken. It is truly challenging for us to grasp, Peyoan remarked regarding the sacrificial practices. To them, it was almost seen as an honor. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.